Welcome to another video. This video is mainly for Calculus 1 students and for those who don't know how to answer these questions. For anybody taking calculus or planning to understand the whole concept of calculus, you have to know how to answer these three questions. Because whether you learn to do differentiation or integration, you are able to achieve that because you know what a continuous function is. Because you cannot differentiate a function at a point where it is not continuous. And then it becomes meaningless if you know how to do differentiation and integration, yet you cannot tell whether a function is differentiable or continuous at a point. Because for a function to be differentiable, it has to be continuous at that point you're talking about. So you notice that every time I say something, I refer to a point. You cannot just say a blanket statement like the function is continuous. Well, continuous where? Because a function does not necessarily um, have to be continuous everywhere. It just has to be continuous at the point we're interested in. And the point of interest for this video is when x is 2, because as you can see, it looks like the focus of everything and every question you've, give, you've been given has focused around 2. So that's the point. The question is, is it continuous at 2? Let's get into the video. So here is the answer to all of these questions that you see on the board and the ones you have on your mind and the ones I have hypothesized. The limit of this function as x approaches 2 is equal to the value of the function at 2. This is the answer to every single question that is here. There are three things that must happen for a function to be continuous at a point. In this case, it's at 2. See, there are three things that must happen, and the three things are written on the board. The first thing that must happen is this. This has to exist. See, when you have an equation, the left-hand side and the right-hand side must exist for the equation to make any sense. And this is the continuity equation. Okay, just as you have Einstein's relativity equation or whatever, E equals MC squared. Yes, this is your E equals MC squared for continuity of a function at a given point. So this must exist. And this must exist. What is the third thing that must exist? This must exist. All three must exist. If one does not exist, then the function is not continuous at that point. So, with that understanding, we're going to go back and try to answer each of these questions, and then we'll come to answer this final one, whether f of x is continuous at 2. Because if we don't get that, it's not continuous. So, let's go. Let's start from the right-hand side. What is f of 2? Remember that the value of a function at a point is basically what the y component is going to be. So you plug in 2 into the function, what do you get? That's what you get here. So do you think we can plug in 2 into this function? Let's go back here. The function is a piecewise function. I was thinking of sketching graphs to show you how it works, but I don't want to use a graph so that your understanding will be based on what you see. So look at this. This function is defined in two ways, depending on where you are on the, the graph, okay? So, anytime x is greater than or equal to 2, this is what the function behaves like. But whenever x is less than 2, the function behaves this way. So it's a piecewise function. It's definitely broken. It's a broken function, okay? It has two different parts that don't look alike. But, when I want to find the value of f of x at 2, the value of this function when x is equal to 2, 
Am I supposed to go here to find it or here? Where should I plug my 2 into? You plug it when x equals 2. Well, x is not equal to here because x is less than 2. But if you go here, x is equal to 2 because you have two options. x is either greater than 2 or equal to 2. So this is the function you're going to use. So the first question that we're going to answer is 1. f of x is equal to this function, x squared plus 1, when x is equal to 2. So that's the part you're going to take. And then you plug it in. So you say f of 2 is equal to 2 squared plus 1, which is equal to 5. So yes, the first answer has been provided to this first question, does f of 2 exist? The question is, does 5 exist? Yes, 5 exists. So we say yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And then we move on to the next one. So the next question says, does the limit of the function as x approaches 2 exist? Now that's another question. The limit of a function only exists if, as you approach that point from the right, it is the same thing you're going to get as if you approach it from the left. So remember the point of interest is 2. So let's go to the second question. 2. What is the limit of this function? as you approach 2 from the right. Now, when you say from the right, when it comes to taking limits, or generally, um, you're saying, you're using values that are slightly greater than the point where you're talking about. So approaching from the right does not mean positive. So this plus does not mean positive. It means I'm approaching 2 from numbers greater than 2. Okay, if I'm approaching, however, if, it's, if plugging in 2 is not a problem, just plug it in, but wait, what is the function you're supposed to use whenever the value you want to plug in is greater than 2? Are you using this function or this function? See, this says this is good for values of x that are greater than 2. So you go back again and say, in order to find this limit, I'm going to plug it in to this function. So it is the same thing as the limit as x approaches 2 of this is the function, x squared plus 1. And remember, when you take limits, and this point is a finite point, not infinity, your first move is to plug the 2 in, right? That's how you find limits. So plug 2 into this function. What do you get? You're going to get 2 squared plus 1, which is equal to 5. Pop! You've got the limit as x approaches 2 from the right. So what do you do next? You go back again and say, Okay, now I know what's going on. If I'm approaching from the right, I'm going to get 5. What if I approach from the left? Because if the two of them are not the same, the limit does not exist. If the two of them are the same, the limit exists. And that's when you get the answer to this. So this is not the answer. This is just a part of the answer. So let's go. We're going to say, now what about the limit of this function as x approaches 2? from the left. So we're now coming from the left hand side. We're using numbers less than 2. Now go back to the function. You can no longer use this to compute your limit. You have to use because this is what you must use when the numbers are less than 2. So you go here and you plug it in. Boom! So let's go. This is going to be equal to the limit as x approaches 2 from the left. And from the left, this is the function we use. 7 minus x. Well, that's going to be 7 minus 2 which gives us 5. Oh my! This and this are the same. So the limit as you come from the right is the same limit as you approach from the left. And if both of them are the same, then the limit exists and that is the limit. So by means of this, this implies that the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 is equal to 5. So it exists. The answer to the second question has been provided. Let's go. The answer is yes. Well, we've shown the work. And the final question, I'm going to answer it here. You tell me. Remember what I told you? The continuity equation is what I wrote here. This is it. It is the king of everything you are doing. 
this exists, we started with this, this exists, and this is the middle part. Do you think the equal sign exists for this equation? It does. Why? Because f of 2 is 5. The limit as x approaches 2 is also 5. So this guy is real. We can't change it. It's legit. So this is how you conclude. Because the limit of the function as x approaches 2 is equal to of the function at 2, it means the function is continuous at 2. That's it. You're done. Go home and tell your parents you learned something. Okay, so don't go yet. Let's finish this. So you're going to say that since f of x is equal to, sorry, f of 2 is equal to the limit as x goes to 2 of f of x, then you say f of x is continuous at 2. You have answered this question. Is f of x continuous at 2? Yes. If any of the things you have seen in this video was not so, the function is not continuous. Even if every other thing is right, but something just went missing, the function is not continuous. Let me show you what the graph of this function will look like. Look, from the right, we're going to have a quadratic, okay? So let's say this is your graph. This is 1, this is 2, this is 1, negative 1, negative 2. From the right, you're going to have a quadratic that's approaching 2, and the value is going to be 5. Let's call this 2, 4, 6. Call this 6, 4. So 5 is somewhere here. 2 is here. So you're going to have this. You're going to have a graph that goes this way. And anything less than 2, the graph is going to be a negative graph that has a, an intercept of 7. So you're going to have something that looks like this. There's supposed to be a hole coming from this side, but that hole has been filled up. So you're going to have something like this, but the hole is filled again. So you can say it's a continuous function because where the hole was has been filled by the right hand side. So it's a continuous function, even if it looks weird, it's still continuous. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, those stop living. Bye bye.